Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to model this product using Blender and easily obtain a realistic result. So without further ado, let's get started. So select everything and import your reference image. And then add a cylinder with 9 sides, I think. Then resize it according to the reference image and apply its scale property. Now press Alt E to perform an individual extrusion of each selected face. Now change the pivot point to individual origins. This allows you to scale each face without distorting their position. Now add a bevel modifier to obtain the perfect shape. The next step is a simple trick for obtaining a perfect circular shape. You just need to activate the loop tools add-on first and that's it, the result is very good. Follow the same procedure for the rest. Now it's time to create the cap order. To do this, add a novel cylinder object, scale it and modify it in edit mode. Press I to insert faces. To create the upper part, first apply the bevel modifier, then add a cylinder and place it according to the reference image. Now add a boolean modifier and select the cylinder. In object property, in the view pearl display tab, we can change the cylinder's view to wire to make it easier to view in a 3D view port. To create this central part, simply switch to edit mode, duplicate these faces and then separate them from the rest of the model. To obtain a solid object, just add a solidify modifier.
When you add a bevel modifier to an object, try C to correct the overlapping. Press M to merge some vertices, and there we go. Here, to create the hole, once again use the Loop Tools add-on. Now, we are going to create a small design. Since it's a logo, I just created an SVG file. You can see on my Instagram account how to convert the logo into an SVG file. Because this part doesn't have a specific placement, you can place it as you like. When you change the texture option from repeat to extend, it prevents texture from repeating on your UV map. Ok, this is a time-lapse process of creating the scene. Here I'm using the scene maker asset to create it. 
There is a 30% discount on this pack right now. If you want to download it, the link is in the description. Thank you for watching until the end and I will see you soon with new videos.